one of my favorite sets of vintage that contains picket fence. Now picket fence is going to allow you So let's talk a little bit about uh, the collage aspect too, and I'll jump back to crayons in just a minute. We have some new uh, distressed collage mediums, and what these are, I wanted a glue because I do a lot of uh, collage mixed media work. I wanted something that wasn't as wet as glue and seal. We've discontinued glue and seal, um, much to Wendy's dismay, but I found that it kind of warped paper a little bit. The viscosity of multimedium is still really great for 3D elements, but I found it was too thick when I was trying to spread it over a large surface for paper. And that was kind of the, the in-between of collage medium. Now, collage medium is in three different finishes. There's matte finish, which is just a complete matte finish. There's vintage. Vintage is just going to be that tinted medium. So you just use it as your regular medium, but when you put it over the top, everything is already vintage. So for people that don't know how much ink to add or what to do with that, it's a really easy way to create that vintage effect. And then my favorite, which is crazing. Now crazing is very different. It is not a crackle, it is a craze. So if you look at the detail of this, and I'll even pass this board around, you will see these really fine little crackles, which is referred to as crazing, what ceramics or porcelain do. We get those little crackles, but it's under that surface. So unlike rock candy crackle that is textural and really chunky, this is completely smooth. There's no texture because it's cracked under the surface. It also makes this a waterproof surface, okay? So it's still all those sealing properties that we have uh, with any sort of medium, it's going to be water-based yet waterproof. Another thing that is different than rock candy is this does not distort your image. If you see on the sample board when you guys are walking around, definitely check that out. When you apply rock candy crackle over an image, it cracks, but it also reflects and distorts what's underneath. This you can apply directly over a photo, any ephemera, and it doesn't distort any of the imagery. You just see those little cracks in there. And so what we've done with this one is after that uh, collage medium is dry, let's see if this one is dry yet. Oh, it's just about dry. I'll use my heat tool. All of the collage mediums, in addition to uh, the four ounce size, they're also available in a sampler pack where you get all three mediums in one pack. So you get a sampler. And we've also done this uh, in our texture paste for this show because we found a lot of people like, do I want matte texture paste or transparent? It's like, you know what, try the sampler. But for me, for someone that would, you know, take it to a workshop, I love the fact that I can take all three of these jars and I could refill them from the big ones, right? Because this is a lot in my bag. I'm not gonna use that much glue on a project. I might, but uh, I may not. So, I'll, and I'll talk real quick about the mediums before I go with the crayons. Another thing that I loved about working with these mediums is creating some brushes for them. So these are the collage medium brushes. This one, this one, and this one. Three sizes. Now, what's cool about these is that this is um, a very soft brush. So I'll pass this around so you have to brush it on your hand to see. It's a soft brush, but very springy. And I wanted that because I wanted the ability to brush a medium, but also remove a medium, okay? These are sold individually or in a set of three. So I'll pass it around to you. Yeah, if you feel it on the top of your hand, you'll see exactly what I mean. What's cool about this, if I'm going to work with it, is that I can take my collage medium, the brush is designed to fit right into the jar, I can pick up my medium, and when I spread it out, I have the ability to either apply a heavy layer, let me show you here, let's say it has some glue on there, but usually with a paintbrush, if you have too much glue and you try to scrape it off, you end up with that big channel of glue. Because the brush is too flat, it just pushes it to the side. This brush actually allows you to scrape it right off. So I can pick up as much medium as I want and put it back in the jar. So I really wanted something that was angled to fit in my hand just like this. So it's a real easy way to kind of like if you're doing wallpaper paste, you know, really go on there and spread out a lot of medium and really control how thick or thin that you get it. What I also like to tell people, if I have any ephemera, this will become ephemera. Um, collage medium, when you put something down, and we have a, a paper, I either use a dry paper towel or you can use a cloth when you're putting this on. This has a drying time of now. So when you put something on there, it's going to set this, well not this one because I have three layers on it. When you put this on, you're able to put another layer of ephemera directly over the top and you can spread that right over the top of it. And you don't have to worry about each layer drying in between because nothing will affect the other layer. So you can put crazing on one layer, matte on one layer, vintage on another layer, and you don't have to worry about one overpowering the other. Another cool thing, these are all heat stable mediums. So unlike crackle paint that you have to wait before you can dry it, you can apply crazing medium, dry it with a heat tool, and it will craze right there. Okay, so let's show you the effect of that. One tip I always like to show people when you're 
using collage medium or any wet medium, when you're done with your brush, just wrap it in a baby wipe and then you won't have to clean it. You can keep it that way for hours. I mean, you have to clean at the end of the day, let's be honest. But this way, if you're demoing or teaching or working on a project, don't always throw your brush into water.